So obviously I deal with the subject of mobile devices as a natural addition to access control systems, because for us identifying a person in order to ultimately grant them access is the key element. What we can do, and I believe this is also what makes Dormacaba stand out like no other, is that we can see and approach the entire situation in a holistic way, and that we individually select the right solution for the specific customer from a modular system. If I have the situation, if I put something on a public infrastructure, which a mobile phone ultimately is, then I have to make sure that the entire system can't be simulated, that there is no way to hack it. We do this by running a trust sensor in the background that generates credentials, in other words, encrypted packets, and we have a mechanism that only allows these encrypted packets to be decrypted on the end device, i.e. the door lock. This means the typical place where an attack can normally take place, i.e. via the transport route over the mobile phone, this can be regarded as secure, and therefore mobile as well as biometric applications, similar to RFID applications, are of course in the focus of attention virtually every day, whereby, as it stands today, mobile actually has the greatest potential. It also makes it possible to communicate with the individual user, i.e. where I want access to something at short notice. These are things that can only be done via mobile, as is the case, for example, with a service technician who's doing something at a station located somewhere in the wilderness, and ultimately I can only reach this person via their mobile phone.